Um, here lies the restless... Jesus Christ, man! Don't do that! Yes, I'm working on it. I'm about to bone a grave. Oh, God. Welcome back, everybody, to Diamond Sword RPG Remastered. Episode... One more than the last. Uh, last episode, uh, we conquered the Swamp Dungeon. We're all done with that. We're good. We can never come back here again. Awesome. This episode... Ooh, we have some business in a graveyard, if I remember. Yes, we have a little bit of business to attend to in a graveyard. I got so many potions of bullshit. So, uh, okay, I think there's a... Yes, so we gotta make it to the cemetery, and from there, uh, we will take it... We'll basically uh, kind of figure out what we got to do there. Um, uh, thank you all very much. On like an off note, thank you very much for all the support that this series has received thus far. Um, again, this is one of my passion project series that I absolutely love to death. Uh, if you want to see more content, uh, please subscribe. You're supporting small YouTube. It's like supporting a small business. It makes you feel good. Uh, otherwise, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm uh, favor my content over other content. And, you know, comment with what you want to see next. But let's get to the cemetery. And now that we're past all the dumb YouTube pre-bullshit that I have to say. Uh, cemetery straight ahead. I think that's the cemetery there? Ooh, 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 money! Uh, let's see here. I will need these three bones. Oh, go, go away. Uh, through, through the, through to the haunted cemetery. Nice. So the cemetery, there's a lot going on here. Uh, also a hidden chest. A diary. Uh, let's listen to the lore. There's a blacksmith shop somewhere around the cemetery. The blacksmith died long ago. Now his son runs the shop. Go and look at the blacksmith's grave for a clue. You will need something from the sun before you enter the crypts. I don't think I need that either. Oh, come on, run. There we go. So this this the cemetery is actually a really cool is actually a really cool area. Uh shoot, I kind of forgot how to get there. Um yes, no, I'm going the correct way. The uh there we go. Here's the entrance to the cemetery. Oh, back up this way, you better look around. Well, first, let's hit this button. Back up this way, you better look around. I uh, thought I did a pretty good job of looking around, to tell you the truth. How do I trigger the cemetery opening? Uh, that's just a torch there. Yes, that's just, uh, that's just lighting. Money, potion of bullshit. Okay, how do I... The next part. I thought there was a button that would just appear. Here's a button. Hmm. I want to do this during the day. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize that would actually... Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. That's on me. I kind of forgot that... Uh, the daytime would kill everything in here. Alright. 
in truth, I just wanted to like a really good screenshot of the cemetery. Doesn't that look kind of cool? Maybe something with a little less text. Yeah, this will make for a good screenshot. Dope. Okay, so. All right, the blacksmith shop. Through to the blacksmith shop. Okay. Oh, um, here lies the restless. Jesus Christ, man! Don't do that! Yes, I'm working on it. I'm about to bone a grave. Oh, God. There. Thank you, now my soul can rest. Yeah, yeah, your soul can rest. Oh. Well, that's another diamond shard done. Uh, that was the shard from the pyramid. I placed it here last time when Akamil was gaining power again. It was protected by a restless spirit who will only give it up for someone who can uh, touch the, bo uh, the bones and turn them to the grave. Now there are two more secrets in the graveyard. One, find the blacksmith. One, to enter the crypt. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, so a couple, there's no name recorded, but his remains were recovered from the Mushroom Dungeon. Here lies Dartnall. You should never explore alone. His motto was his motto, yet he died exploring the pyramid alone. Here lies Henry Avo. He was an explorer of the Forest Dungeon, his last adventure. These are all people who have explored other dungeons, but to catastrous results. Rip Harold, he owned lots of houses. <laughs> Rip Harold. Sorry, Harold. The only thing that we're going to remember you for is being a landowner. Hmm. Wonder why this grave looks different than the others. Strange thing. The only one made out of wood. Yes. Here lies Avalyn Finder of the Mushroom Dungeon. A hero died fighting zombies. Here lies Sally Mander. Ah, the power to turn it. Here lies Tom Riddle. An evil wizard died. Lord Scepter, the warrior, age 89. Here lies a witch named Steiner, age 300. Wild Rift died. Wow. I don't know, I kind of like the... Uh... Here lies Ronan, the hero of the people. Stopped a zombie siege, sacrificed himself to save others. All right, so... I thought there was a chest in here. This tree. Yes, there is. Okay, there's a button here. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't think I'm ready for that button yet. We'll get there. Uh, here lies Toll, the blacksmith, died uh, May 14th at the age of 56. So, age 14. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the cemetery, you find a vine, have a climb, and you will be in line. Ronan was a hero. You should look up to him. Okay. I got a little ahead of myself, so that button will get us into the uh, next part of the quest. But first, why am I parkouring? I don't need to parkour right this second. I need to parkour that part, but just not yet. So this is the blacksmith shop. And as you can see, oh no, I can't get up. I got to use the other entrance. Darn. Oh, time to pop off some mad parkour skills. So that uh, boning the grave joke I came up with in the shower this morning. I'm kind of proud of it. Oi! Over here! Uh, it looks like you found the entrance. Why am I hidden out of the way, you ask? Well, my father once made weapons for the king as he was the best across the lands. It, only be s it would only be a matter of time before dark forces were presumed to make weapons for him, so we had to flee. Anyways, I made a new weapon called the Mace of the Undead. It's more powerful than the swords I once made. Go take it and the button from the chest in the next room. Use the Mace in the crypts to clobber the undead. To enter the crypts, look for a vine you can climb in the cemetery. Good luck. Nice. Okay, I probably don't need the Sword of Arachnids anymore. And a button. Use the button in the lower... Cemetery. Okay, so 
Okay, I know I got a couple things to do here. All right, so we just had a lot of information thrown at us and a button. Don't remember what the button was. I love this, that this little, just makes it look like a little pergola. So this is gonna be the lower crypts, but we can't access it yet because we need to get through, we need to complete some other stuff first. So let's go deal with uh, Ronan. You open a strange grave. Strange grave. Dope. Uh, Ace out. And the lower crypts. Oh yeah, there's gonna be all kinds of weird jump scare stuff. Another arcane potion of bullshit. Wait a second. Did I already miss something? Did I already forget something and I just got here? That door should have opened? Unless there's a button hidden somewhere that I'm not seeing. Which is probably the case. Uh, button? I thought this would just open. There was just a button. Watch out, it's a zombie seed! Shit. There was a button there, but I'm just an idiot. If you come here looking for invigorating tutorials on how to do things, y'all come to the wrong place. Peace o cake. I don't like this. I don't like this. Can I run any? Can I actually run downstairs? No, not really. I don't like this. I remember the zombie siege. I don't remember anything else, and that's concerning to me. A uh, button. Button. I remember this room vaguely. I remember not liking this room. Oh my goodness! Hello, little friend! Shoot, I'm trapped in this choke point. Arcane potion of bullshit, go! Thank you. All right, it's quiet. So behind one of these doors is a is the way forward. There it is. But I hear skeleton still. Actually, the skeleton. Okay, that's all that's there. Um, yes, this is definitely the way forward. Oh, I don't like this. Nice, I do like this. Now let me grab this bread to get that out of my inventory. Okay, I th should just be the button? Wait. Watch out ahead. Ha! Admittedly, that's not something you see every day. Oh my! Need to reduce number of zombies. Manage. Walking, walking mess me when I wake up in the morning. I got this. I love this, the walking mess. Oh man, that wasn't half bad, now was that? A uh, home teleport button. Teleport button. Oh, 
Oh, uh, good work getting here, Hero. Now you can go to the Icewind Plains and find another shard in the Ice Palace. Remember to use your bow at the Ice Palace entrance to gain entry. Is that where it takes us next? I think the Ice Palace was so soon. Oh, it's quite a large place. You'll find many treasures there. Oh, I'm home. Okay. So before we were having problems getting the buttons to work. Uh, Icewind Palace. Uh, home teleport to the cemetery. Okay. So before we were having problems getting the uh, the teleport buttons to work. Well, I think uh, Mick figured out the problem. Uh, it was something with like the teleport distance being set too low or... I have to be in a certain proximity to the button. I think. There we go. I just got to be up up in its face a little bit. Uh, welcome to my... Home away from home? This is another teleport hub. You have been to the... This is another teleport hub. When you've been to the Icewind Palace and the Icewind Village, you receive a button from each place, so you can use here to teleport back. Perfect. Um, Icewind Village. All right, so this is like a... Winter home, I guess. You finally made it to the Icewind Palace. You can use this house as your own. There's a lot to explore in the Icewind Plains. When you exit the door and look right, you see the Ice Palace. Also look for the Icewind Village after you complete the Ice Palace. Good luck. So, invisible mob glitch? Diary. Things I'll I will consult later. Ooh, nice. Question the freshness of these, but whatever. Potion of bullshit. Money. Bowls. Bottles. So I've been holding on to a lot of my a lot of my stuff lately because in the Icewind Village there's a big or in the plains there's a big shopping place where I do uh, where you can like trade in a whole bunch of like your old armor and things. So uh, we will take advantage of that. Actually, there it is over there. Hey. So, um, I think this is a good stopping place. There's a lot of exploration to do around here before we begin our adventures in the Icewind Palace. So, uh, we'll look we'll look at doing that next episode. Uh, but that is all the time we have for today. Um, like I said, when we come back next time, we'll um, we'll explore some more, and then we'll after that, I think we'll get into the Ice Palace. Yeah, that's all the time we have for today, so I'll see you in the next episode. Later.